Okay, I'm back on track, and I'm on German Church Road. So we're going to take you down there. Like I said, the weather's been funky, and if it's, the windows seem a little cloudy, that's because it is. I'm going to keep an eye out for where the Grime Sisters were found, for the simple fact. I don't want to pass it up, so if I do, I'll be cutting back in. Okay, so I come up to the location. Okay, what I'm doing, I'm walking up upon the area. As you can see, the ground is soft, and the city or whoever has made sure that they put fire hydrants on both sides of this area. So basically, you cannot park, <laughs> okay, without having trouble with the law. I don't even know if I can get in trouble where, my, where I park. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm trying this again as... When I was here, a couple seconds ago on the tape, the whole camera went dead. The battery, everything. So I went back home, charged the sucker up, came back out here. I don't know what happened. I know it was charged when I left. But we're walking up to the area where the Grimes sisters were found. And it's known as Devil's Creek. Now, they disappeared. Last time their mother seen them was... December 28th, 1956. They were found in this area where I'm at, along the side of the road, naked, near this area, Devil's Creek, on January 23rd, 1957. Nude, naked, and frozen. <clears throat> There's the creek. This would be the area of the road. Another nice, allegedly, location, I guess, <laughs> depending on your view of it. But they were found by a driver driving by, individual, somewhere alongside of this road, and he thought it was two mannequins. So, this is the area in which they were found. Now, on the paranormal side, it is said that you can hear a car drive by here, hit its brakes, a car door opening, something going thud in the woods over here, then the tires taking off. This is heard on a regular basis over here where the Grimes sisters, Barbara and Patricia were found murdered or dead and frozen. And this is German Church Road. Now the other thing is, right behind this fence here, stood a house. Which is right next to the area where the bodies were found. And allegedly, as the story goes, a bunch, a bunch of stuff was happening in this home, in this area. Now, I'm not going to crawl up any further here. Let's see, I'll take a walk down the road and see if we can get a better view. Okay, the way the story goes that I heard it is so much stuff was going on in this area where this house stood that the owners back then fleed and left the house. And what happened was after that, for no un for no known reason, the house burned to the ground. So this is the area. And since then the land has stood vacant. Plus, no trespassing, private property. So, recommendation, stay out of here. Okay, I'm walking back upon the area where the Grimes sisters were found, Barbara and Patricia, back on January 28th, 1957. I will also Take a little bit more of a tour of the Willow Spring spots to show you some locations real fast. It's not a, and what I would also, you know, recommend, highly recommend if you're looking for a tour, a long tour, nice tour, historical tour of these areas, look up hauntedchicago.com. Ursula, who's published books, 
many on the Chicago hauntings. Also runs one of the top known tours here in the Chicago land area. And the Archery Avenue, Willow Springs area, Grimes Sisters, all that is part of the tour. So our final look here at Devil's Creek, German Church Road, and back in 1957, January 28th. 23rd, I'm sorry, where the Graham sisters were found. Viewers, I'm at the other end of Archer Avenue. I'm going to take you to an area, a location, where one of the very first hauntings, reportings of hauntings happened in this area, maybe even in the Chicagoland area period, because the first, very first hauntings reported were in the late 1830s, in 1840s. This is St. James Cemetery. Like I said, I'm just giving you a, a quick tour of some of the locations along Archer Avenue. And that it's also been known and called Monk's Castle in this area. Very beautiful Irish, mostly Irish cemetery. Those that worked on the canal, Illinois Canal were buried here and they were mostly Irish <clears throat> so this is this is a fast glimpse of St. James Cemetery okay I'm back on the road we're on Archer Avenue and you can see many of these sites that I've given you a fast glimpse at photos stories stuff I've experienced at my website theunexplainedworld.com Remember this Archer Avenue used to be Indian travel, land, the road they would take. You know, of course it wasn't paved or nothing, but <clears throat> this has actually been recorded historically as an Indian land, Native American, and they would travel the same road we are driving on. I want to give you a fast glimpse of Fairmont Hills Cemetery. This is a cemetery where when the mausoleum was standing, when it was, music could be heard playing from it. And I will take you up to the area of the mausoleum where it once stood. Now, I do have a photograph of that mausoleum on our website. I'm one of the few people that have that photograph. So, uh, so I, I believe it's under other locations, other pictures, whatever. But let me take you up here if I don't drive off the road. Okay. And what was is weird about the picture I have is the fact that <clears throat> the fact is, okay, they, they even took away the steps. It was right around here. The fact is that the picture I got looks like fire from the inside trying to get out. The bricks were even pushed out. Yep. Mausoleum was standing right in this area. <clears throat> ah, aha. There's the steps, but no mausoleum. Well, like I said, the music in that could be heard, and at that time, it's no longer there, but at the website, theunexplainedworld.com, it can still be seen. So, yeah, it's kind of a interesting cemetery, as you can see. It's a roundabout road to get out of here, and so doing so, I'm going to take you out to one or two other spots on this I guess you could say what started out to be the Grimes Sisters now I'm lost what started out to be the Grimes Sisters uh, locations turned in has turned into somewhat of a tour a fast one of Haunted Archer Avenue Willow Springs and other locations on the way to and from. What's now what stood here 
used to be right in this area, straight ahead out the window, which is vacant now, is a house of a thousand bargains. I used to go in there many times. Tell you what, nothing's been reported about the location or the house or the building that stood there, which was a house basically, but I lay money on it. It's something in this area they go on. Okay, as I travel on Archer Avenue here again, we can see a little bit of, I don't know, you want to call it downtown Willow Springs? Over here on my right, Frankie's Roadhouse. Used to be Cavalone's. Then was Rickle D's until maybe the spirits chased Rickle D's out. Who knows? But now it's Frankie's Roadhouse Restaurant, Bar, Grill, and Pizzeria. And there, the famous, where the dead still dance, the Willowbrook Ballroom in Willow Springs. And this is where part of Archer Avenue that of course Resurrection Mary still appears so thank you I hope you enjoyed this tour it was a spontaneous type of thing as I said I was out to do the Grime Sisters but since I was in the area I decided we'll do this also and for more to see photos stories of some of these locations just go to the unexplainedworld.com my name is Edward Shanahan and thank you very much, and happy hauntings. Bye-bye.